The ACM Awards took over the star in Frisco, Texas, and all eyes were on country music's new rock star. Show some love! Sweet Dolly! It's a great show! How are you? Good to see you. Second consecutive year as host. How are you feeling right now? I feel good. Yeah. I got a lot of clothes to change into. We counted six different outfits, from a cowgirl looking jeans to a glam floral gown. The go to country paired with the real thing. Did I hear you say you were looking for a goat? <laughs> and to close the show, liar, liar, the world's on fire. this billowing map of the world dress covering the entire stage as Dolly addressed global division, debuting her first ever rock song, World on Fire, and got everyone on their feet. How we heal this Introducing my whole rock album tonight. Yeah. And this is the first single from that. But it's a good message. I think everybody in the world needs to kind of hear this. Your rock star album cover art? OMG! You look like a vixen! Well, I tried really hard to look like a rock star. Oh my. We will always love. Oh, thank you. you. First time hosting. Did you shake off all the nerves? Feel good. You get to talk about country music. I, I could do that all night long. Co-host Garth Brooks and his wife Trisha Yearwood had a Dolly Love Fest from the carpet to the stage. I saw you online telling all those nice people out there that I'm your hall pass and that I'm Trisha's hall pass too. Garth organized a threesome. What does this mean? You're going to have people talking after this show. Everybody loves Dolly. Actually, people think this is Dolce & Gabbana, but it's Dolly and Garth, so. <laughs> <laughs> that threesome's already getting started, y'all. Trisha had her own fangirl backstage, Nicole Kidman, and performed a medley of her hits with Carly Pierce, including this one from 1991. What does it feel like to be out there? Everybody knows the lyrics to your song. You know, it reminds me of the first time when I was 26 years old singing that song, and the first time I saw people singing the lyrics, I'm like, they know this song because they've heard me sing on the radio, and it feels the same all these years later. It was so fun. It was over so fast. I was like, did that just happen? It was so fun. Also having fun, Lainey Wilson, who was hand in hand with her new man, a former Steelers quarterback, Devlin Duck Hodges. If I brought me a hot date tonight, I sure did. I mean, he's he looking like a, a snack over there, ain't he? A little snack of a cowboy. I know. I said, you can be my date, but you can't steal my thunder, so. <laughs> You're all fired. We've all been on pins and needles about the fate for Yellowstone. Girl. Whether or not it's coming back. Oh. What is the deal? I'm waiting for that call. I'm like, y'all let me know when to be there and I'll right? be there. How was Kevin riding off into the sunset, Lainey? Oh my gosh. Well, Lainey was riding high, taking home four awards, including Female Artist of the Year. Baby, I can handle the heat. Girl, you have <laughs> torn this heart take. Oh. You're so sweet. Jeff was just like, oh, and he's that's like, my girl. He, he better have been thinking that. <laughs> he better know. All right. Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman made it to date night, even sharing this sweet moment holding hands before Keith's opening number. And Nicole was ready for it. I've got my glitter on. Have fun and dance tonight. Cause every show was Well, Maria's a lamber, New York Times best-selling author. Are you so proud of this woman? I'm always proud of her. Always. Cheers, the carousel. Brittany McLaughlin was all smiles alongside Miranda Lambert. Florida Georgia Lions' Brian Kelly and his wife Brittany were color coordinated for the big party. And Tyler Hubbard hit the carpet an hour after his bandmate twinning with his wife Haley. You and your wife are looking so cute tonight. I know, we're matchy matchy. I know. Having fun. Bury me in Georgia. Also matchy matchy, Kane Brown and his duet partner, wife Caitlin. Thank God for giving me you. When are we gonna get a follow up? Oh, we're working on it. We're putting a studio in the house right now. So we're gonna put the babies to bed and just work on some music. And Song of the Year winner Cole Swindell is winning at life, hitting the carpet for the first time with his new fiance, Courtney Little. I'm already a winner before I even got here. You blacked out when you were proposing the this I mean, wouldn't anybody? Chris Stapleton had a lot to celebrate too, winning the coveted Entertainer of the Year Award for its first time. My kids sitting at home, they give up a lot of my time, a lot of my wife's time so we can go do this. And uh, this is for them. He said tonight it was for 
your kids, your sure, family? How do you make road life comfortable for you? We do the best we can, you yeah. know, and, and uh, we're taking the whole circus this year, all the little guys too. So No way. Uh, yeah. How many do you and Morgan have? We have five. Holy yeah. cow. Morgan Wallet. Two days after Morgan postponed his tour and began six weeks of vocal rest, he took home Male Artist of the Year. Garth accepted the award on his behalf. To win it is one thing, to be here not to get it must be killing him. Have you talked to Morgan? How's he doing? He's doing fine. I know he's just laying low and protecting his voice. I had sex with him a little bit yesterday. Just hope he gets to feeling better soon and get back on the road. I'm in the middle of the shit. This is where I belong, y'all. Right here I am with my kind. I started drinking at noon, baby. We showed up like, hello? Well, hello, Jelly Roll. The country newcomer was so fired up for the big night, he moonwalked for our cameras while getting ready to hit the stage with Lainey Wilson. Stapleton's sitting right in front of me. I, there, no matter how good I sing, I'm going to think I suck. So damage beyond repair. Old Dominion, baby, come on. Where's the six trophy sitting? I put it in my glove box, so in case I get pulled over, I pull it out, hopefully get me out of a ticket. <laughs> it's a six speed for Old Dominion, winning group of the year. And check out this duo party in backstage before they premiered this duet. I am so Ed did just reveal he would, quote, love to transition to country. As for Luke, he's got his hands full at home. Two under two is going to be interesting. We got it, though. I'm excited. Luke's wife, Nicole, wasn't the only country lady rocking a baby bump. There were eight. Soon to be dad of three, Jordan Davis performed. Kimberly Perry showed off her bump in this black and silver number. My little baby boy is enjoying his first red carpet, his red carpet debut. It was also mom and dad's night out for Gabby Barrett and her hubby Cade and new parents John Party and wife Summer. Little baby Presley, she's awesome, she's a great baby. She flew on the plane, didn't cry, that's a win. Now I saw on the gram, she was in some car hearts. You guys were working on building a new house, she was driving a tractor. I mean, you got big hopes for this girl. She's gonna be tough. <laughs> My wife Lucy can't be here tonight. She, we just had twins. And leave it to the brothers Osborne to have no filter, but lots of fun. If John come to these award shows without kids before, he'd be like, wow, this is so much work. But now he comes here and he's like, wow, what a break. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really? it's a work vacation. <laughs> got a boy and a girl. We, like, we knocked it all out. We're done, I think. Right, Luce? We're done, right? Oh, no, Luce. Actually, she told me that. That she wants more? Yeah. All right, enjoy <laughs> having a family with someone else. <laughs>